Hey friends, today I have a special thrift and antique shopping trip planned for you. If you notice, I'm at an airport. In fact, I'm in Houston, Texas. So tomorrow I'm going around top. I'm taking you along with me. Let's get to it. If you're new here, my name is Cindy and I'm with reinventeddelaware.com. And here we like to take you thrift shopping and antique shopping and we like to do makeovers on some of those projects and give you give you some decorating ideas of how to use vintage pieces and this week I'm excited because I'm going to Round Top. I, I sure am. I'm in Texas now. It's Houston, Texas. I'm in Houston, Texas now. Listen, it's late. It's nine o'clock and we've been traveling a good part of the day. In fact, when I say we, I mean one of my sisters and, and my mom and I have all decided to come to Round Top. We've actually come to visit some of the small towns that my mom grew up in. Beaumont, Texas and uh, around the Houston area. We're going to visit some of those areas. But it happens to be the same week that Round Top is going over, going on. Golly, I'm tired. So we decided to go to Round Top. We're doing that tomorrow. I'm going to take you along on this whole trip the best I can. I can't wait. But for now, I need to get some sleep. No, we're just we're just laughing already. I mean, we're just now getting the car rented. My sister. Definition of similar. Okay. My sister is a major sarcastic kind of person. That's okay, cause I kind of am too. You could get type thing. Yeah. Definition of my sister. <laughs> similar. <laughs> Oh, that's perfect. Thank you. I am a I was born in Houston. I haven't that since I We're from Delaware, so we came down. Yeah, it is. It is going up and down. But you know where Beaumont's at. Yes, ma'am. I was born in Houston, actually. And then we left when I was two and a half. What do old ladies do when you visit another state? Go to Walmart. The other thing that you do when you visit Texas is what? What else? You go to the Goodwill. You go to the Goodwill. Here's where you, here's where we are, store and donation center. I don't know if it's one of those bins. I have yet to go to one of those. We're gonna go in here and see what we can find. And by the way, this is my one of my sisters, and we're having fun, right? We're having fun, a lot of fun. We found some cool things in this store, especially this thing. I have no clue what it is. If you know, let me know down in the comments. I can't even guess what this tool is used for. It's kind of weird. Anyway, I found a lot of fun things, but I, I couldn't bring home much because we were flying and those little pumpkins would have looked cute on my mantle, but I'm not sure they would have made the trip. And just like this here. Now, do you remember I made a pumpkin out of a lid off of a candy dish just like this one. I'll pop in a little picture. It turned out so cute. This one would have been cute along with it, but it was glass and anyway, I saw this piece and I think this would be great with a round wooden plate on the top to make like a riser. You know, I love risers. And then there's these, these shoes from Holland. Oh my goodness. This would have been fun to just wax and just make as a decorative item. I really did like those. The bowl was really pretty. Again, I kept picking up pieces that I knew would break. And so there's that. Now these jars, I wanted these jars. I saw one on a shopping trip not long ago and it had the lid. I should have gotten it for my instant coffee. I have a cold decaf instant coffee every afternoon. So I should have gotten it. Anyway, I did wind up bringing this home and I have a plan for it. So stay tuned. Watching the video back and seeing this sweater, I'm kind of kicking myself for not getting it. It was a brand new sweater, $64.99, and the thrift store price was $24.99. What'd you find in there, anything? Uh, I did not. Okay. Um, we are in concrete city. Concrete what do you mean? Like, let's there's, tell everybody. Con there's concrete, like everywhere you look, everywhere. there's concrete. Everywhere, concrete. 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 
My sister and I decided to go to one more store on this particular day. Now, my mom was back at the hotel just kind of resting because the travel was a lot. I mean, we, we did a lot of traveling and she just needed to rest. So we checked out this little shop. Now, this is one of those places. Well, I'll tell you about that here in a minute. But you can see a lot of this stuff looks pretty new. I don't know how new is it not used but not brand new that i'm not sure we'll talk about that here in just a minute This place wasn't so much a thrift store as it was a closeout center. So what a lot of people can do is they find these closeouts. I don't know how they get them, but they can get items that did not sell like at a, uh, Amazon is one of them. Different places like that. I don't really know how it happens, but they can get a good deal on it and then they can turn around and try to sell it for a profit. And that's what this place is. I'll leave the address link down below. Once my mom was rested up, she decided to join us. And that afternoon we went to Round Top. Now Round Top is set up kind of different than I expected. I thought that it would be at one location that you park and that you go to all these different vendors. But really what it is, it's this long road and along that road, you have to drive to each and every individual spot. And that's what we did here. So we only went to two spots. It was a very tiring day, even though we were only out for a couple of hours. We got to see some beautiful antiques like these shoes. Everything was pretty pricey. I'm going to try to mention some of the prices here if I can remember. Those corbels, now we saw lots of these and they ranged anywhere anywhere from three and four hundred dollars and upwards to a thousand. Beautiful pieces of furniture like this step back cupboard that, oh my goodness, I would have brought that home. It was well over a thousand. It might have been closer to the two thousand. Some beautiful molds here. Now I would have grabbed that. $38 is a little steep, but it's really beautiful. But there's no way that I could have gotten that home. So it had to stay. Of course, those adorable children's chairs. You know I love children's chairs. And these had a star pattern in the seat. And I thought that was so cool. One of the things that we noticed when we pulled into the parking lot of this particular spot was a lot of trucks and trailers from out of state. So I think that they're bringing their wares, their pickers, and they're bringing their wares to someplace like Round Top because they know that they can get top dollar. And I don't blame them. You know, people are in business to earn money, and this is a place to do that. There are lots of interesting things like that. That, do you have any guess what this is? Let me know in the comments. And right there it is. It's a meat rack. Yep, for like a butcher shop, it was $7,200. This needlepoint sampler was stunning. Now, this is how this family recorded the important dates, birth dates, wedding dates, that kind of thing for their family members. And it is just stunning. There are lots and lots of books and some really beautiful ones. I would have grabbed several of those, but they were on the steep end as well. Plus, I had to keep in mind the weight of our luggage. You know, that whole thing with the airport. This one was especially cute. And then the dishes. Now, you guys know I love dishes. It is such a thing for me. And this beautiful pattern oh, was just so pretty. There were lots of pieces to it. I do have one picture that would have matched this. I don't know if it was the exact same pattern, but it would have coordinated beautifully with this. I would have scooped up the whole set. This booth was filled with antique and vintage flags with all sorts of historical information documented along with it. You see the papers next to each one of the flags. That is the history of that flag, where it came from, how old it is, all the stuff. And then you see how beautifully framed they are to just preserve this beautiful flag that we have here in the United States and the history that it represents and the freedom that it represents here in our country. This was a moving spot to be in. I was just, I could have read every single one of them. We spent a lot of time looking here. Just so well done, so well done.
We also saw a lot of really beautiful quilts like this one. Now, this this quilt was hand pieced. I got up really close and I could tell that each diamond was hand stitched together and then it was also hand quilted at $550. That's a bargain, ladies. Let me tell you, I've done this kind of quilting and it is time consuming. The ironstone was just endless and we kept seeing unique kind of pieces like that toddy cup for $70. So unique, I've never seen one. Beautiful soup terrines like that bowl that you see there and more $695 for this ironstone pitcher. Ah, that's steep for me, <laughs> you know I'm pretty cheap. But I have to admit, seeing these pieces was just such, such a joy for me because I just love these pieces so much. And even though at $695, I'm not going to bring it home, they're artwork pieces to me, so I can still appreciate the value and the beauty of them, even though they're not gonna be in my house. This piece is called a slop pot, and I happen to have one. Now, mine does not have a lid like that one, but basically, this is a pot probably 20 inches tall, and it would sit on the counter, and that's where all the food scraps of the day would go, and then those food scraps would be thrown out at the end of the day. Thus, it's called a slop pot. I have one that I kind of got for free because it was an extra piece in a box lot at an auction that we attend on a regular basis. So I have one of those and I really do cherish it, especially then I, when I saw that these pieces were in the hundreds of dollars. This silver piece was stunning. It was really big for one thing. I mean, you could fit a whole turkey underneath this thing. It was massive, so well preserved, really a beautiful piece. You know, I love furniture and I love Jenny Lynn beds. I love this one. This would have been a rope bed. Ropes would have gone across and would have held a straw mattress. Check out these charcuterie forks. Aren't they so pretty? I would have scooped up lots and lots. You know, I'm trying to replace our stainless steel flatware with silver plate or silver pieces that are vintage and antique. Slowly and surely, I want to do that. But at $5 each and $4 each, that wasn't gonna happen. Now, it just so happened that I did find this set. There was a, four, a full six-piece play setting of silver pieces that I found, and it was only $30. And I'm only showing you the four pieces, but there were six pieces. We've already started using them, and we're really enjoying them. This next booth was stocked full of ironstone. Everything you can imagine, butter pats, gravy boats, pitchers of every size, plates, platters, oval bowls, round bowls, serving bowls, everything. And they were pricey. Now, oh, look at those. Look at that stack of plates. Oh my goodness. But they were $20 each. Not for the whole stack, but each. That's well way past my pricing point. One of the things that I noticed about the ironstone that I saw in Texas is that it's pretty decorative. See all those decorative elements what I see here is mostly plain and not so ornate. Now those little pictures are only two to three inches tall and they were about a hundred bucks each. All right, we, we just spent an hour and a half or so in the first building. We had no idea, number one, that it's, Round Top is basically this long road and you go from one event to the next, to the next, to the next, right? Yep. And we didn't know that until we got here. So we just did the first one. Um, well, I, what was the favorite thing or what the most spectacular thing that you saw? What was it? A $68,500 large rooster wedding bag. Oh my gosh. I didn't get pictures of that. I, I didn't get pictures of that. Sorry. No, we're not going to buy it. Plus, it wouldn't fit in the suitcase. And we got to get home on the airplane. And so there's that. So, Mom, how about you? I just had a great time. And I love all of the cooking type stuff. Oh yeah, there was a lot of that, wasn't there? Anything you could see that a woman was doing in her kitchen trying to make it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I would have to say that one, I don't know how much footage I got of it, but the one area with the ironstone, just piece after piece after piece after piece. And I even stopped filming because I just had to look. 
but I, I was overwhelmed and pleasantly overwhelmed. I don't know, what are we doing next? Are we gonna go see another one? Well, I don't know. It would be great to walk over there. I don't know that we can get mom over there, but okay. there's big pots over there that okay. like outdoor fire pits. Yeah. What a great idea they are. Okay. So we might, we might do that. I may or may not film. It's hard to do that because there's a lot of people. I'm trying not to be rude, um, but I'm gonna do the best I can. Here's another spot that we stopped and there was this mold. This would have been used for butter or for like a pudding. It was only $24. They had also had a lot of books and I felt that they were reasonably priced. I had to kind of stay in the mindset of a, my suitcase not being too heavy. So I did see this thing and it's a pine cone garland. And although it was an antique, it gave me the idea to make one. So stay tuned and maybe we'll be making that soon. This, this salesman sample, oh my goodness, I could have just brought this right home. Isn't it so cute? One of the things that we've been doing in the morning, my sister and I, is we're just kind of jumping out of bed and going for a pretty decent walk. Like what we do, 20 minutes yesterday? Yeah. Yeah, and we're at about, I think I just looked, we're at about 24 minutes or so now. I don't know the distance. I think yesterday was almost a mile and a half. Yeah, not yeah, quite. Yeah. So we'll see what it is today. Um, Mom's still kind of in the hotel room settling in and waking up kind of slow and that's all cool. And Laurie and I just have energy. <laughs> is that the word? Yes, energy, <laughs> energy. So we're burning some of that off. And she just made a valid point. Like what is another reason that we are walking at five o'clock in the morning or whatever time it is. Burning off the ice cream yeah. we had last night. Yeah. So there's that. And again, we'll do tonight. Well, we got to do some planning and <laughs> we are ahead of the game. Basically, I feel like we're ahead of the ice cream game. If we're walking now, this counts for the ice cream later, right? Well, that's a great way to look at that. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. That's what I claim. We were also able to visit with one of my nieces, Christian, and her husband, Matt, and their little baby, one of their babies, their other kids were in school, and my mom was thrilled. She has not seen this granddaughter in years, and she was so excited. Well, Christian and Matt took us to their favorite thrift store, and they also took us to a really another store that's really cool. I'll show you here in a second, but this lampshade... I wanted it so bad. It was so unusually shaped, but there was no way that that was going to fit in my suitcase. And then there were these brackets. Now we could have really done a cool thing for, with these. And that was the pair for only $4.99. It was quite a deal. I would have loved to have taken them home, but that wasn't gonna happen in a suitcase. So they had to stay. And then we got to go to this place. It's called His Hidden Treasures. And it's all used items and it's set up like a showroom, like a brand new furniture showroom. Everything's staged well and all the pieces are used, but they look brand new. And my niece and her husband said that they have furnished their home with a lot of pieces from this store. We finished our visit with them by going out to their favorite Mexican restaurant for lunch and we just had a great meal and a great time together. We're in Beaumont, Texas. This is the town where, or city, it was a town, I don't know what it was at the time, where my mom was born. And this is the main event for our trip. This is why we're here in Texas. We're gonna spend like three days here. I'm gonna try my best to share some of that stuff with you. I just got to the hotel, dropped them off. My, my sister and my mom are all signed in and uh, it's been a long day of driving to get to this spot. Texas is a big state. Google Maps like 
thrift stores near me or, you know, something like that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And this one popped up. It's called um, La Mission. La Mission. And <laughs> we circled around. Several times. Several times. And we're looking at the dot on the Google map. Google map. Yeah. And we're like, where's the store? Where's the store? <laughs> Show up. I have no idea. So we decided, let's pull into the parking lot. Yep. Let's turn around and get out of here. And we look up and there it is. Let's go see what they have. Yes. <laughs> My sister Laurie and I were back at it at another store to go thrifting and we found these plates. So they were really pretty. Now they're made in China, they're microwave safe, so they're not old, but they were really pretty. And then they had all their Christmas decor out and I found this container of glass ornaments. There were so many in there and they were so pretty. Most of them were glass. There were some that were plastic, but most of them were glass and they were just so pretty. My sister collects sleighs and she really wanted to take this one home with her. But again, that suitcase problem. And then there was this thing. Oh, what is this? I think it was a citrus juicer thing. So the lid sits either upside down or you can turn it around. And I think that's how you would have used it with a half slice of lemon or something to juice it. It was pretty unique. I would have loved to have brought this home. What'd you get? Oh my gosh. Aubrey, <gasps> uh, not Aubrey, but uh, Madison's gonna love that. How old is Madison? She's uh, three. Oh my gosh. What three-year-old would not love a dress yeah. like that? Look it's at a, the sparkle. It's a six, but that would be okay. So cute. She's gonna love she'll, it. She'll play dress up in it. Oh yeah. My mom loves Cajun food, so of course we found a really great Cajun restaurant. She got that catfish. You see that she really did enjoy that so much. She had gumbo. I had shrimp tacos. Uh, my sister had a shrimp and grits. I can't remember what she had. All the food was so good. We really did enjoy this, and I'm pretty sure my mom enjoyed all that delicious Cajun flavor. We're headed out. We have been in Beaumont for two days, yep. right? Yep. Two days. This is the second night. Last night was the second night. We had a really good time. I'll, I'll tell you about it here in a second. Well, you saw a little bit of it, but um, just as we leave Beaumont, the next place that we're headed, by the way, wet hair still happening. <laughs> so just don't even look at me. But um, we're headed to Houston next and we're going to do some things there and then we're going to be getting on our plane and flying out what day today is sunday we're going to leave sunday and today is what today's uh, friday. friday friday so we're going to stay there saturday and then we're heading out sunday early 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 and heading back to delaware um but before we leave texas before we leave beaumont in just a couple of words mom what do you think of your hometown it has really gotten big okay very big, very different. Uh huh. Let me ask you this: We ate a lot of good food, <laughs> yeah. and we had a variety of things. Right. What's one favorite kind of food that we had? So before you answer, let me say: We ate Cajun, we ate some Mexican, we had some barbecue, Texas barbecue. Um, those were kind of the local foods that we ate here. And of those, which one do you think was your favorite? the catfish oh so mom last night I think I got a video of that she had fried catfish and there's a special way to do catfish right. and what is it cornmeal cornmeal you gotta you gotta the breading has to be right. cornmeal and that's that that's so right. Laurie let me ask you not, not flour not flour we're not doing that <laughs> let me ask you Laurie did you have a favorite food I mean other than the ice cream that we pigged out on yeah I think the, <laughs> uh, the Mexican restaurant was really really oh, what good. did you get I got the um, um not tacos. Oh, I got the tacos. Yeah, you okay. got tacos. Yeah. Oh, well, that's cool. Cause yeah. my favorite yeah. thing were the Cajun tacos that I got last oh, night. Okay. They were shrimp tacos, so good. Y'all saw that. Um, so yeah, we're headed out and yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go.
One of the last places that we ate was this restaurant and they had this really cool display. It was all these old license plates from Texas and they were made into the shape of the state of Texas. It's so cool. I'd love to do this with Delaware license plates. We stopped for another bite to eat. We've just gotten close to the airport. We're leaving soon, like in another day and a half, and this is where we're staying for the last leg of this trip. We're stopping here for a quick bite for dinner, and I just saw a sign that I don't think I'd ever see in Delaware. Hang on. In spite of the sign on the outside of this place, let me tell you, the food was unreal. My sister got a quesadilla. I got the shrimp tacos again. My mom, I forget what those little things were called. And then of course we go check out the bathroom and we see this cool piece. That's an old sewing machine base and they turned it into the vanity for the sink. Oh, it's so cool. We also vi visited this Holocaust museum that commemorated the lives of survivors who had settled in Houston, Texas. It was very moving. The next morning, we boarded our plane at about 5 a.m. and we took off and we left Houston. What a beautiful city and it was so big. And the great thing about heading back east is that we were able to fly into the sunrise. It was stunning. I wish I could have captured it with my camera the way I really saw it. It was so beautiful. God's creation is amazing, and this is just proof of it right here. Thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and like and subscribe. I sure do appreciate it, and we'll see you next time.